Ladies and gentlemen, the Shrek Gaming Silicon video, we're going to be discussing a series of tweets that Corrine Yu has made. Now she has joined the team over at Naughty Dog. Now, in case you're not too familiar with the news, first of all, let's bring you up to speed. Yu originally was working for Microsoft's Halo team, also known as 343 Industries. She actually served as the principal engine programmer. She held that position for about five years. She actually joined 343, I'm sorry, in 2008. Before that, she was with uh, Gearbox Software, who were, of course, responsible for titles such as, say, Borderlands. So, initially, she said that I miss my... I miss working with many capable developers on the Halo team, but I'm excited to develop for the PS4, and that was via Twitter. However, shortly thereafter, Corrine then took to Twitter once again. Now, these tweets have been since deleted, so I cannot post links, and you won't be able to find them. However, they have been snatched, and they're going to be part of an article, so you can just simply click on them, and you can just see what they said, if you do not believe me. But she's since retracted the tweets. Unsure why, probably... Uh, because of a little bit of controversy. But she said, PS4 graphics... Uh, by the way, I'm going to read this out in verbatim. PS4 graphics programming does not sit on top of heavy layers of Win OS or GPU drivers. I'm excited about as pedal to metal coder. Then she uh, responded to a tweet from someone by the name of Court. And they said, welcome to the neighborhood. And Corrine responded, thank you. I am loving PS4 graphics coding. No more Windows 8 for me. So happy. End tweets. And immediately the internet has started to blow up because there's been a little bit of rumor mill that has surrounded this. Indeed, I've heard some rumors um, the Seaboat has actually commented on this. Seaboat, of course, is one of the famous leakers on the Xbox One. And there's also been some other very, let's say, abstract uh, comments that have been floating about the internet. Basically, if you read between the lines, it appears that Corrine isn't very happy with the state of development on the Xbox One, obviously part of the team. Now, to be fair, we're not exactly certain how much she was actually involved in Xbox One programming, but it's a good chance that she was actually pretty damn familiar with it. Now, I know what you're going to say, but what does Windows 8 have to do with the Xbox One? Well, don't forget, quite a lot of the core principles are still tied over. Now, with the Xbox One, we do know that Microsoft have basically taken DirectX, streamlined it, and have basically taken away any any excess code that wasn't a prerequisite and pretty much, as they said, cut out anything that's not Xbox and there you go. So in other words, it's not like the more bulky API that is, say, oh, I don't know, Windows. Now we know that DirectX has a lot of problems on Windows, particularly on DrawCall, although it has some other issues as well, but DrawCall is a really big issue, and it has been attacked multiple times from games developers, and they've wanted to resolve this. Now, obviously, on consoles, this isn't so much of a big deal, because they're able to code a lot closer to metal. Now, in case you're not too sure what that means, it basically means that you're able to code specifically for the hardware. There's no abstraction there. there. In other words, kind of like X as an interpreter. So, Think of it this way. Um, I ask you to buy me a pint of milk and, you know, I don't know, a loaf of bread. Let's just use a typical example. So I can tell you that directly. That's a thin abstraction there. I'm just telling you exactly what I need. On the other hand, it could also be, be that I tell Bob, you know, my shopping list, and then Bob has to relay it to you. It's obviously a little bit slower. Now, in this case, when you're actually coding to Metal, you can actually get much more out of the hardware, and this is actually one of the primary reasons that AMD are trying to push the Mantle technology, which, of course, from what we're understanding, and once again, a lot of this is up in the air right now, but it appears that the Mantle shader language, which is 
going to be very integral for the PC is going to also be very similar to that of the PlayStation 4. In other words, there's going to be a lot of crossover and similarities. So in theory, at least, AMD have kind of a leg over in this respect. Because what they're going to enable you to do, if you're a PC, if you're a, say, PlayStation 4 developer, is easily implement basically the correct language and just quickly convert it for the PC. And therefore, you don't have to worry so much about coding, say, OpenGL and uh, Mantle. But for Corrine to come on to Twitter and point out about the WinOS layer and the GPU drivers. Now, we do know that Microsoft, back in the early development of the Xbox One, the API system was kind of a mess. Um, there were rumors the games were being heavily delayed because the Xbox One was, let's say, thick. It wasn't easy to get through. Um, and there are multiple examples of this, and you can Google them. Uh, which would probably not take you too long to find examples, to be honest. Um, and I imagine, although she's not mentioned it, that there are going to be other uh, niceties working with the PlayStation 4, such as unified architecture, which of course the Xbox One does have the coherent memory, but it doesn't have it to the degree of the PS4, and that's simply because of the ES RAM. I also would be kind of curious to hear... Uh, Corinne's opinions on that, especially if she got some real uh, quality time with the Xbox Ones for API programming, no doubt she'd actually be a veritable treasure trove. Now, Naughty Dog are a killer developer. No one could deny that. So are 343, to be fair. Now, remember, she was one of the lead architects in terms of the creation of this bloody engine. Naughty Dog, in terms of the games, are pretty damn phenomenal. Um, titles like, for example, The Last of Us, in my opinion, is easily one of the greatest games out there, um, in ter especially in terms of what it actually managed to achieve on hardware, considering that PS3's hardware is nowhere near as easy to work with the Xbox 360s, that's just a given. So, yes, P The Last of Us did dip in terms of frame rates, I ran some own frame rate testing, uh, probably should do a and a, a video of it, but I wasn't really sure whether it's worth the whole, you know, to actually do it, but I probably will. But in my own internal testing, The Last of Us, especially in some areas, can dip well under the 30 frames per second mark. And you can particularly notice this in enclosed areas or areas with a lot of water. I imagine that's because that obviously uh, the CPU or GPU are getting, a, well, a lot of utilization in terms of particle effects or physics or whatever it happens to be processing at the particular time. With such an advanced programmer as Miss Yu, it's obvious that Naughty Dog are going to certainly benefit, and I imagine the PlayStation 4 exclusives, which of course are going to be uh, the forte of Naughty Dog, obviously they don't program for, say, the Nintendo machines or whatever, since they're basically Sony first-party developers, they're going to really benefit from her skills and expertise. I do, however, wonder, there was another developer, I honestly can't remember their name, <laughs> but... Apparently, they were um, snapped up about a month or so ago um, from 343 to Naughty Dog once again. So I could guess you could say that they're really you know, grabbing a lot of talent right now. Regardless, I think it's not exactly damning evidence of the Xbox One. It's not like she's saying the Xbox One sucks or anything like that. Uh, certainly that would be extremely inflammatory. Instead, what she is saying is that she's obviously very happy with the coding uh, world that is the PlayStation 4. To be fair, her statements aren't anything different from a lot of programmers and a lot of developers. They're all stating that the PS4 is very easy to use. Um... The bottom line is that that's extremely important when you're developing for games because the Xbox One, I don't, uh, there's been the odd comment from developers, uh, I was even covering one the other day, that was stating the Xbox One was fairly easy to use, but a lot more people have said it about the PlayStation 4, so I guess we're just going to have to see. Regardless, I am extremely excited about what the next generation of Naughty Dog titles are going to be holding. I'm quite an 
I'll be honest, I'm quite a whore when it comes to Naughty Dog. I, I love most of their titles. I'm a huge fan of uh, Uncharted series. I'm a huge fan of The Last of Us. I think they're absolutely quality games. And so I am, I am to use her words, I am excited. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the relatively brief video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.